Alright, let's move on to the next section, which is for logic operations. Uh, this is similar to the math operations, except it has to do more with logic instead of math. So this is uh, maybe more fun for certain people. Alright, these blocks are also found in the operators tab. And uh, these are going to be those angle bracket blocks that we talked about, which are basically Boolean blocks. Remember, Boolean means true or false, and this all has to do with logic. So these are the blocks we're going to be looking at right here. We've got uh, great less than, equal to, or greater than. Uh, so if we can just type in some numbers and see what's happening. Uh, so is 9 less than 10? We're going to double click on that. True. So the number is less than 10, so that's true. But if it's greater than, if we do 22, then it's false. So it returns false. And we can also remember that we can plug things into these blocks here so we can make our cat say false or if we do nine then we can make our cat say true so always remember you can use these blocks for other purposes so that's less than if the number is less than then it will be true if it's greater than then it will be false this one makes sure that the blocks are that the numbers are equal so if nine and ten then they're not equal so it's going to be false if we do 22 and 10 then they're not equal so it's going to be false but if we do 10 and 10 then they are equal so it's going to be true put this in here true and finally and next we have greater than which is the opposite of less than so 10 excuse me and 9 or let's do the same numbers we've been doing let's do 9 and 10 again is 9 greater than 10 no so it's going to be false is 22 greater than 10? No, yes, so it's gonna be true. Sorry, <laughs> uh, but here's the weird thing is 10 greater than 10? No, it's not, it's equal. So, the interesting thing about Scratch is they don't have a greater than or equal to, so we'd have to use one of these blocks to combine it. So, we've got these three blocks which are more logic than these ones up here. So, you can combine operations, for example. If we have an AND block, so that means that both need to be true. Let's use two angle bracket angles in here. So is 9 less than 10 and is 10 greater than 10? Well, that's not true. That's false. Why is that not true? Why is that false? So we've got these two values, true and false. So is basically the AND block needs two trues in order to be true. So if 22 is greater than 10, it will give us true, because both 9 is less than 10 and 22 is greater than 10. You see, they both have to be true in order for the whole thing to be true. If even if one is false, then is going to the whole thing's going to be false. If they're both false, then it's also going to be false. I'll show you that here. It's still false. Or on the other hand, will give us something different. Only so they're both false right now. 22 is not less than 10, and 9 is not greater than 10. This is going to be false. But or just mean needs one of those to be true. So if 9 is less than 10, or 9 is greater than 10, well this one is true. So the whole thing is going to be true. You just need one thing out of both, right? So is this true or is this true? Yes, this one is. So we don't even need to worry about this one, right? Uh, if they're both true, then it doesn't matter it's just going to be true. So they're kind of opposite and could be could have oh, I'm sorry, three falses and one true, right? You need both of them to be true and it will return true. But if one of them's false or if both of them are false, then it will return false. Or on the other hand, will return true if one is true, if both are tr or if both are true. Both must be false in order for it or to be false. Now, not, on the other hand, returns the opposite. So if this is true, 10 equals 10, and we plug it in here, now it's false, because not 10 equals 10. So is 10 not 10? Well, no, 10 is 10, so obviously. If, is 9 10? No, it's not 10, but is 9 not 10? Yeah, 9 is not 10. True. So that kind of is a little bit weird to wrap your head around. Uh, this is kind of the intro to the logic operations. We're going to be going over these much more in depth uh, once we learn about a couple other block sections, and we'll combine our knowledge 
to strengthen things and enforce things much better. All right, I'll see you guys in those videos, and yeah.